Notice from the Records and Information Security Administration. This file was updated following the addition of two instant logs and discoveries made through progressive research into the anomaly. A new revision is currently being drafted by the Records and Information Security Administration. Item number SCP-6989, Clemens Level 3, Confidential. Object Class, Keta. Disruption Class, Dark. Risk Class, Notice. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-6989 cannot be physically contained due to its size and nature. Distributed Task Force Lambda-10, Cloud Watchers. Note, a task force specialize in tracking and researching aerial or airborne anomalies that may be deemed uncontainable by conventional methods employed by the Foundation. Their duties rarely involve the containment of anomalies, aligning more towards the observation of anomalies, the amnestization of the civilian population, and the expungement of data correlating with the anomaly is to track SCP-6989 and initiate the authorized amnestization protocols if the need arises. Research into the anomaly is currently in progress, headed by the task force. Description SCP-6989 is a single columnimbus cloud with a base length of approximately 2 kilometers and a height of 1 kilometer. Its base is always elliptical and does not alter through any known circumstances. It has been seen merging with many clouds, but does not seem to grow any bigger itself after many observations conducted by Lambda-10. SCP-6989 is formerly composed of water droplets and ice crystals, but has not been observed to produce any form of precipitation. Senior attempts have proved ineffective and is constantly in motion. With Lambda-10's observation reports, it has been noted that SCP-6989 appears to be attracted to areas with high atmospheric humidity. SCP-6989 can activate unusually localized and powerful electromagnetic pulses affecting even shielded electronics. This ability only affects technology with itself and does not affect any area outside the cloud. This has made an internal analysis of the cloud impossible. ADAR scans have also been hindered by an unknown source within SCP-6989. Discovery SCP-6989 was detected following an unidentified object breaching Earth's atmosphere on the 22nd of January, 2021. It was located by weather radars after a, a cumulonimbus cloud manifested unnaturally in the local area. The connection between both events has not been concluded as a coincidence and an investigation is still in progress. Incident 6989-1-2021, February 26 SCP-6989 came to the Global Occult Coalition's attention following the unnatural disappearance of a rainstorm over Miami, Florida. SCP-6989 had entered the facility and consumed a cumulonimbus cloud, which was causing the storm over the city. A Leith Operation Note, Leith Operations involved mass anesthetization of the local or worldwide civilian population, and they are only used in select instances where the success of a cover story is unlikely due to the sheer amount of resources they require. On the city was swiftly instigated. With the GOC survival, they immediately began preparations to initiate a decommissioning attempt on the anomaly. DTF Lambda-10 was unable to dissuade arriving GOC forces, and all task force members are apprehended and detained. The GOC utilized altered missile technology. Note, they have been designed to detonate when affected by EMPs. To strike SCP-6989, 
The first three detonated successfully after entering SCP-6989, and the fourth and fifth seemed to make contact with the solid surface within the cloud. Immediately after a high-pitched piercing noise was emitted by SCP-6989 and several appendages, with a resemblance to those of cephalopodic organisms, descended from SCP-6989 and assaulted the GOC forces below. Projectiles consisting of dense biological matter fell from SCP-6989 with considerable force, and the cloud retained a bluish tint following the exchange, which soon disappeared. A joint operation between the Foundation and the Global Co Coalition was quickly initiated following the incident. The Foundation began assisting the Global Co Coalition in attempts to neutralize the anomaly. Incident 6989-2-2021, February 28th. SCP-6989 was seen attempting to subsume another communumbus cloud. As preparations for heavy artillery bombardment were made, the cloud SCP-6989 attempted to subsume unleashed multiple appendages and impaled SCP-6989. It appeared to be struggling, and the cloud quickly merged and consumed SCP-6989.